Hi, welcome back to ODE. My name is Paulo and today I have here a very interesting box because you can see here that this comes from Caveco and samples to me and I have to say that the content of this box is still a secret by the time I am receiving this and I'm recording this. So, today we are by the evening of the 27th of January and I have received new stuff that from Kavek that are, will be released soon but they are not out yet. So, this was the first time I got to have this kind of preview besides the other one on the collector's edition pen but I'm very happy with this so I'm not I don't know if I'm ha I'm happy because I get to to see them and I'm excited to see what is inside so my faithful Victorinox Swiss knife and let's see what is inside And let's open it in both ends. I hope everything is okay inside. Yes, we are almost there. I should get more practice with opening boxes with time, but I don't think so. And now this is the moment. nice black paper so you can see what is beneath and let's take a look first we see purplish stuff which is nice and black paper now let's go slowly because i like to do this stuff slowly a postcard from caveco this is very nice because it has the history of caveco this is Michael, the CEO of the of Caveco and is the German Shepherd. This is a very interesting um, postcard. I like it. A big sticky sticker. Let's write history together. And we have stuff inside. And what will I show you first? First, let's start for with something that is new but not 100% new and it's this you can look at it this is the Caveco inks so um, Caveco they told me and you saw that unboxing and even a box leaked they told me that they were having some trouble with their Caveco bottles. Sometimes there were some spillage of ink. And so they told me that they were going to change the packaging for their um, inks. And now it, they come inside this, which is kind of nice. 50 milliliters, which is also more than they used to be. And is available in 11 different colors, 11, I thought it were 10, mm. they were 10, so I'm quite curious. So this, <laughs> these little bottles are nice, they remind me of uh, little jars for free gems, interesting. I just wonder how easy it is to get to the bottom, but they make these kind of inkwells there. Maybe they will not be that difficult to, to reach. So, for now, I would say that I like these bottles and the new package for the bottles. Let, I don't know if they sent me all of their inks. Yes, there's here also the paradise green, uh, the palm green, sorry, and that's good because I can show it to you in a direct comparison. Here is the old box of 
Paradise, sorry, Palm Green ink. The outer case was this plastic thingy that got a little bit ruined with time and sometimes it, it breaks there. It's not beautiful and they had this very classical shape of bottle that is used by many brands. And now, what we see here is a different bottle and I think the new one is nicer. But that's just my opinion, let's see what you all think. And even more important than the design is if they are better to avoid uh, ink leakage. So, let's put the bottles here on the side and let's continue seeing what is inside the box. The purple stuff is... I, I will save them for the end. Another ink box. This is the Paradise Blue. The Midnight Blue. I think I was out of framing. Hmm. I heard something interesting there. Whoa! The Royal Blue. These labels are much more vibrant, much more beautiful. I put this the other, the other way around. Let me put it in the right way to show you. So, I, I can't tell you how excited I am to show you this stuff, but I want to go through the inks first before I get into the other stuff. This is the Ruby Red. It looks a little bit pinkish here on my camera. The Caramel Brown. Did they send the 11 inks? The Summer Purple. Sunrise Orange. And Pearl Black. Okay, these are the 10 colors. Hmm, there's no, no one, no, not any other ink bottle inside the box, so it's strange because they say they are available in 11 col- Ah, I know. Maybe it's that yellow highlighter ink that is not available in bottles, just in cartridges. I think it may be that. And now, can we go to the most interesting stuff? Before of that. I asked if Kaveco could send me could send me these because they just released these last uh, year and they sent me a set of those and these have no particular usage just for uh, showing off I would say and this is a set of very nice Kaveco coins. They have nothing on the other side, but on the on the face they have the Caveco logo. In black, um, brass color, silver, well, let's call it gold color, not sure. This is kind of a steel, a matte steel, and this in a copperish Color. So these are very very nice. I think I need to make a special kind of environment to show off my Kavec stuff. Okay, now I think it's time to go into the next stuff. And these inks are re-releases, just different packaging. These coins are new stuff but they are not really useful for writing, but they are interesting for to have if you are a collector. I know you are, you are seeing these nice packaging, but let's go in a different order. I will start by showing you the new Caveco Perkeo collection. You already knew the Perkeo. They are these big school pens. Let me see where I can open this. 
and now they are available in other colors a full clear color and this is interesting I think this is nice I think you all know because of my videos if you watch them usually usually uh, I'm not the biggest fan of the Caveco Perqueo but I think there are people that really like them and I'm not a fan but I, I'm not saying that I don't like them but I like Caveco Sport much much more so that's just it and this is the they, they are I think going into a direction where people can start collecting the Perkeo by themselves and this is an interesting thing to do an interesting move because the Perkeo pens are good they are reliable they write well and I think it's nice to see them in such colors like this one last year they, they released the full black one which was very nice also so we have the transparent we have this one that me let me see which how they call this i think it's teal this one is, I, I have i have a um, notes on the side so that is the all clear that how it's called and this is the breeze teal and besides the breeze teal there is also the Peony, the, the flower, Blossom. And I don't know if they sent me them all. I guess so. We have here also the Jungle Green. And I think this green is really, really nice. I think this is one of the most interesting Perkeos ever in color. So, Caveco. I would like to see uh, Caveco Sport with this color. And now, let's go to the end of the video. Okay. Caveco made... I will take this box away. Take it out of my... table or my desk and... I will show the two other pens that I have here. I will just uh, zoom in a little bit and I'll be right back. Okay, <clears throat> sorry. I'm here with all this stuff and I'm really happy. And so I have to say that Caveco changed uh, a little bit. I think they have been changing some things in the way they make their products and their lines and there are some some interesting changes that you may have seen uh, in special editions and so on. So, Kavec noticed that the special editions are really a thing and sometimes they are just regional and they may get quite expensive with time. So they decided to create a new line of widely available Caveco uh, special editions. Let me put this here. And these special editions are really interesting. These special editions have a different name. Usually we have to fight or to struggle a lot to find all the different editions that were ever made because they are not widely available. By the way, I'm working hard on my website about uh, Caveco Sport editions. And um, so we had to, to struggle a lot because some of those regional special editions were not listed in Caveco website, so we never knew which ones were available. And that is one of the reasons why I decided at some, at a, at some, same, sorry, at some point to create the Caveco Collectors and Users Group because we could exchange information and try to find and catch all the special editions that were out there. Now they are listed and released directly through Caveco and I think that is a nice thing. So let me just start by showing you 
the box. Usually, Caveco pens come in a black box. Let me see if I have one around. I always do. So, usually the Caveco box is like this. This one is open. But I can close it for you to see. This is the usual black box that where the plastic Caveco Sport come inside and now they release this and it says Caveco Collection and it has the color of the pen so inside there is a plastic pen with this color and this is really nice and let's take a look at it so this is the new pen this is the special edition for one of the special editions for 2021 and this color is called let me check my notes light lavender and this is a beautiful it's really beautiful color let me dim my light here a little bit I think it's better this way it is really beautiful color this pen has a little difference from what we are used to see they have the, the regular Caveco steel nib, they have the medallion with chrome color and they have the chrome engraving on one of the facets. And here, instead of Caveco Sport, is now Caveco Collection, so you can always tell apart easily the pens that you have that are regular editions from the ones that are not regular editions. So, now the limited editions of Caveco are now called Caveco Collection. They are available for one year and even if, if the, the, the color proves to, to be popular and people want it more, they will get it into the regular line and, as far as I know, this engraving will not be here, it will be Caveco Sport, as usual, not Caveco Collection, and it will be a part of the, of the collection, maybe with small changes, they may change the color of the trim. But this is a very interesting stuff. I, I like it. And um, do you want to see some color comparisons? Mm. I'm not sure, the video is too long, but... Maybe if you don't, I guess I do. <laughs> so let me check my Caveco collection cases and grab a couple of pink pens. This is the, the Frosted Sport and I think the name is Blush Pitaya, right? Um, let me check the other case. I I have many Caveco Sports. I, I don't want to say that I have too many because I don't believe we can have many, but they get hard to find. In all these cases. Um, I have here for comparison also the Strawberry Pink from uh, China from some years ago. You can see it's very very different. This color is not comparable at all. This is a very beautiful color. I have to say this is one of the most beautiful colors of Caveco from let's call it the regular skyline line. Not the... we are not... We, I'm not talking about... this light is not very good here. No, I think it's better. This, this line is not the art sport they have. Those have really different colors and uh, stuff. They are really nice uh, with different materials. But this, this purple, this lavender, I think it is one of the most beautiful colors Caveco ever made. So, in terms of pinkish and purplish, I also have the, the metallic purple or metallic violet and the other one, the purple from the United States. And you can see that 
this is completely different. It's not pink, it's not real purple, it's a very soft lavender, but it's really lavender. You, you can, in real life, you can see the difference. You can also see that the engraving is different, but the style is almost the same, so you will not notice a lot the difference if you look it uh, quickly. Uh, I have a pen that I think it has the same kind of feel, which is this one, the, the, I don't remember, Blue Ocean, was that Ocean Blue uh, uh, edition, that has a kind of this pastel look to it, very, very beautiful color. And do I need to get any more pen cases? Okay, by the time I think this is clearly a video for Caveco geek people, not so much for <laughs> the general public. I have here, uh, this is a prototype, which is nothing like that also. And this is the rose quartz, which is a very uh, pale pink very different. So this color is really, really unique. I'm very happy and let me just compare it and I think I'm out of purple plastic Caveco Sports with the Art Sport Samba and the Art Sport Amethyst. You see, really different from this all. I think Caveco should make the purple violet ones. I've been thinking that for sometime and if you want check the video that I made about what Kavec should do, what I think Kavec could do with their pens and I think they could do a frosted sport with this kind of color. It would be very very nice, they could call it plum or something like that. And finally to end this video. I could be here talking forever about Kavec and picking all my Kavec sports. There is also this new edition, another Caveco collection, a metal box with a paper sleeve, a pinkish one, a purplish one, but much darker. And this means the pen that is inside is a violet pen also, and it is a metal pen. First, before people getting crazy about this, these pens are only going to be available to be ordered by the February 17th, not before, February 17th. But the pen that is inside, unfortunately, because of some logistic problems, Kavec will not release it before I think it was May that they told me. I would have to check my email in a moment to just to verify this, this information. Yes, this will be available from 17th May 2021. And this is a AL Sport with the new sticker, which is not the shiny one, and the paper that you already know so well. And here we have the pen. And this is a real purple, as you can see, also as engraved Caveco collection. And it comes with gold trim. And one thing that is quite new to me is that the engraving on the barrel is gold color that matches the trim. Usually on the purple pens it does not match. So this is this kind of smooth, silky finish, kind of uh, AL Sport, and it is also very, very beautiful. Unfortunately, it will not be immediately available. And you can see the colors are really different. And you want to see some comparison with this one, with some others? Okay, I can do it. Which ones do I have to compare with? Not many. I'll have the, the Hello Kitty pen that is still coming to me. I don't have it yet. 
So I have the rose gold, and you can see there is, let me put them here to be closer to the camera and also with a nice inky background, mm, nice. So you can see that this is the comparison with the rose gold that has nothing in common almost. We have the Sakura Lucent, which is also a pink. And I have here the other one, which is called Dark Lilac, or just Lilac, I don't remember, sorry. Which was this one. And this one, by that time when it was released, I thought it was a very nice color, and it is. A dark, uh, a pastel-like color, but this one is much more vibrant, much more intense, and I think it is a beautiful color. So, this is not pink at all, like the Sakura Lucent, as you may easily see. And let me just take out some other pens just for some color comparison. This is the June Bright something blue, and... I will get the petrol out here also, so you can see this color is really unique. There was not such a color. You can, I, I'm just showing that because you could be thinking, mm, maybe that is too close. No, it's not too close. These two colors are really, really, really different ones. And so that is very exciting. And so, we reached the end of the video, sorry for taking you so much of your time to show you all this nice stuff, but I think this is really nice. This could have a better presentation, but I just couldn't do it. This is too nice to show. So, this will be available in May and this will be available in 17th February. So look for it, it will be available only for one year and I'm not saying that because Kaveco sent me this pen for review, I'm just saying that because I really think this is one of the nicest colors and if you check that video I made about which colors Kaveco should make, there was this one there, a kind of this one but in the frosted sport and then four new Perkeos which, that are really nice. So, this is all I had to show you today. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe and start looking out to your favorite pen stores to find where these pens will be available. So, this is all I had to show you today. I hope you enjoyed and We'll meet again next video. Bye.